assalamu alaikum friends i hope you all are well and enjoying learning with language and linguistics today we are going to discuss semantics and the topic is meanings and their types so let's move to our first slide Jeffrey Leach has broken down meanings into seven types conceptual or denotative meaning, connotative meaning, social meaning, effective or emotive meaning, reflected meaning, collocative meaning, and thematic meaning. Jeffrey Leach gives primacy to conceptual meaning, and three basic types of meanings are thematic, conceptual, and associative. Associative meanings are further divided into connotative, collocative, effective, reflective, and stylistic meanings. Thematic meanings refer to what is communicated by the way in which a speaker or writer organizes the message in terms of ordering focus or emphasis. A sentence in active and passive voice have same conceptual meanings but different communicative values. Mrs. Smith donated the first prize and the first prize was donated by Mrs. Smith. Here in First example, prize giver is important and emphasis is on who is giving the prize. And in second sentence, what did Mr. Smith give or what did Mr. Smith do is important. So here active and passive voice of sentence changes the communicative value although it is giving same conceptual meanings. Alternative grammatical constructions also gives thematic meanings. For example, I like apples most. Apples I like most. And it is the apples I like most. Here in first example, emphasis is on liking. And in second example, emphasis is on apples. And in the third one, we can find that emphasis is again on apples and liking. Both of them are important. And this is the communicative value of the sentence. Although conceptual meanings are the same of all three sentences. Conceptual meaning is a sense. What it refers to stands for or designates. Denotative and dictionary are literal meaning, are primary meaning. These are all the name of, for conceptual meaning. And words suggest this meaning when used in isolation. For example, if you just look the word isolation in dictionary, you can find the meaning of this word. That is the conceptual meaning. And second language learner learn these meanings are lean life and likely to have reference to a physical situation. Basic aims of conceptual meaning is to provide an appropriate semantics representation to a sentence or a statement. These meanings are the base for all other types of meanings and they are helpful to distinguish one meaning from the meanings of other sentences. Conceptual meanings are the essential part of the language. So if you just have a look on this example, the word needle, you can easily find that the needle is different and varies from people to people. Some people think it is thin and sharp and some people take it as an instrument or a tool for something. So conceptual meanings are the basic shape or form that is created in your mind when you say something, when you speak about anything in the form of word or you can say it is a sense. So this is the most important and basic type of meaning. Third important type of meaning is associative meaning. Associative meaning is a word that is affected by the context, background, time, and the cultural realities of the users of language. These meanings are variable and open-ended because they are different from one person concept to another. 
certain attitudes and form of behavior are elicited by the associative meaning of the word used in communication and problems of communication arise when associative meaning is assumed to be shared by all concerned people when you think that these meanings are same from one person to another it creates problem for the language users and language learners because everyone has different association with one word in one culture and from different from one culture to another for second language learners decoding the meaning of idioms and figurative expression is difficult because of social and cultural differences they also find it difficult to apply appropriate idioms to diverse situation so associative meanings are different from one culture to another and they are also variable from one person to another because everybody has different attitude towards different meanings according to the social and cultural realities of that person i would like to summarize some important points of this lecture before ending it so the types of meanings are thematic conceptual and associative according to jeffrey leach these are the basic types of meanings and thematic meanings are the meanings that show your focus your emphasis on something if you create a sentence in active voice and passive voice your thematic meanings will be different similarly your conceptual meanings are the dictionary are literal meaning and they are usually physical reference so they are helpful for concept and for learning any language third type is associative meaning they are the word at association are attribution and they vary from culture to culture from one background and to another so you can say these meanings are the speaker's meaning or how the speaker see anything or perceive anything according to his or her social and cultural realities these meanings are association of that person with his or her culture thank you for watching you can also find pdf file of this lecture in the description section and the remaining lecture will be presented to you soon in the next slides and in the next lecture thank you please like share and subscribe this channel for learning about language and linguistics